Life is a series of if-then statements. If I expect nothing from you, then I won't be disappointed. If I go to a therapist, then I won't feel so disjointed. If I talk about how I'm feeling, then maybe my body and brain will realign. If I make myself vulnerable, then maybe I'll consign you to the mausoleum of my mind. But it doesn't work like proofs and syllogisms because our love wasn't logical. There's no geometry to our story, just the gravity that existed between our bodies, the friction that happened when skin dragged on skin, the reaction between your lips and my tongue, the extrapolation of fractions of seconds into hours of heaven. It's 11 and it's getting late, but the way our bodies stroke is like black pen on paper. We make calligraphic, pornographic movements, and together we are our own theorem, freshly invented. But whenever I try and share it with anyone else, it fragments and crumbles between my fingers like parchment. I know you meant it when you said you loved me. Couldn't get enough of me, and I reciprocated. Modus ponens. If A implies B, and A is true, then B is true. If you love me, then I love you, and you love me, then I must love you. But somehow the theorem got twisted. Because when kisses turned to body pinned on mattresses, purple marks on clavicles, raspberry fields on bones, I wondered if loving you meant I hated myself. Because the more you told me about your scars, the more scars I found on myself. If you love me, then I love you. And if you follow the logic, love, that's a modus tollens, because if A implies B and B isn't true, then neither is A, and you don't love me. You can't love me. Because the words you speak and the actions you take don't honor me. A text every five minutes to check up on me. Comments about my clothing. You act like you own me, belittle me. Every tiny thing I say tickles or titillates you. You can't help it because I'm so damn cute, especially when I'm dreaming. I pretend to be asleep while you tower over me in my little pink bed. Pray that you'll stop as you rob me, thinking I'll never know if something goes missing. I know. There's a six-foot hole inside of me. Did you think I wouldn't notice? A moment of silence, please. Condolences for the home that was transformed into a tombstone. But from my rotting body, flowers shall grow. And I am in them. And that is eternity. There's a lotus blooming from the grave inside me. And all the tears that have fallen into me roll down its petals as it opens. This is my opus. I will use you as you have used me, only... I will create something beautiful out of you. Where you only knew how to seduce and abuse, I will make music. I will hear hearts where you broke them, where you choked throats. I will breathe sweetness. Because I'm not versed in the coldness of your killer mathematics, but I'm versed in words. Language that bars the hardness of your gaze, soothes the wounds you laid in reeds around my neck, cures the cynic in me who couldn't trust for the longest time. I will repair every cell that you infected and I'll be damned if I won't let a man kiss my neck again because the ghost of your finger still lingers there. I am here to make breakthroughs. Can't undo the damage that you've done but will rescue myself from the flames that you grew, harness their power and birth myself anew. I am the proof that disproves your kind of illogical love.